We remember your life on earth. You had many crosses and trials, but you knew how to face them. You had faith and trust in God. You relied on his loving fatherly goodness. Help us to be like you. We too have our trials and troubles. We're often worried and confused. Give us courage, give us faith. Help us to make one more effort when we're inclined to despair. As you stood at the foot of the cross, you found it hard to see how God could allow his son to suffer such agony, and you never lost faith. Help us to learn from your example, to face our trials with confidence and trust in God. Sometimes, loving mother, we're so worried about our own problems, we forget about God and the needs of others. We want to be like you. You forget about yourself and your own problems when you saw others in need. Help us remember that the troubles and sorrows of others are sometimes greater than our own. So, Mother Mary, while we pray with you for our special intentions, we include those of all your children in need, the sick and the dying, the lonely and the brokenhearted, the poor and the unemployed, in a word, all who need your perpetual help. Amen. Amen. Our Mother, perpetual help your children call on you. Mother, ever help us. That you may ever be our inspiration. Mother, ever help us. That you may give us courage in our difficulties. Mother, ever help us. That you may see meaning in the joys and sorrows of life. Mother, ever help us. That our trust in God may help others too. Mother, ever help us. When faced with difficult decisions. Mother, ever help us. When asked to make a sacrifice for the sake of others. Mother, ever help us. When put to shame in front of others. Mother, ever help us. When hurt and tempted to make revenge. Mother, ever help us. In times of sickness in the home. Mother, ever help us. In worries about financial difficulties. Mother, ever help us. In misunderstanding with those we love. Mother, ever help us. In helping young people to be self-reliant and responsible. Mother, ever help us. In responding to God's call to the priesthood or religious life. Mother, ever help us. In choosing our entertainment and recreation. Mother, ever help us. That as parents, we may learn to adopt our growing children. 
Mother, ever help us. That as teachers, we may not be discouraged when students question our opinions. Mother, ever help us. That as students, we may show appreciation to those who sacrifice for our education. Mother, ever help us. That we may not resort to drugs or drink as an escape from life. Mother, ever help us. That we may always be honest in the struggle to earn our livelihood. Mother, ever help us. That we may not be driven by greed or envy in seeking power and wealth. Mother, ever help us. That we may always take pride in doing our work well. Mother, ever help us. That the workers may be justly rewarded for an honest day's work. Mother, ever help us. That we may never take unfair advantage of others by usury or fraud. Mother, ever help us. That we may never interfere with justice by bribery or perjury. Mother, ever help us. That we may rise above personal considerations when sailed on to vote or serve the community. Mother, ever help us. When we may never lose sight of the beauty of our country and the goodness of our people. Mother, ever help us. That we may do everything in our power of being justice and prosperity to all. Mother, ever help us. That we may never grow so proud to think we can do without God or religion. Mother, ever help us. When seriously ill and we realize that death is near. Mother, ever help us. When our loved ones are called home to their heavenly Father. Mother, ever help us. When we pray that our dear departed may share in the full joy of Christ's resurrection. Mother, ever help us. As we pray for our own special intentions. Mother, ever help us. Holy Mary, you always help those in need. You cheer those who weep. You encourage those who have lost hope and help them lead good Christian lives. Join with us now as we ask our Father for guidance. Let us pray. Lord God, it is your will that we come together today to honor Mary as a mother, ever ready to help us. May we who implore her motherly help benefit by the great gifts of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thanksgiving prayers. O Mother of Perpetual Help, with grateful hearts we join you in thanking God for all the wonderful things he has done for us. O oh God, our Creator, we thank you for the gift of life and all gifts of nature, our senses and faculties, our talents and abilities. We thank you for creating us in your image and likeness and for giving us this earth to use and develop, to rule and control. Despite our failures, you continue to show your love for us today by increasing the life of your spirit in us at the Eucharistic table. Finally, we thank you, loving Father, for giving us Mary, the mother of your Son, to be our mother of perpetual health. We are grateful for all the favors we have received through her intercession. We pray that those past favors may inspire us to greater confidence in your loving mercy and to seek the aid of our mother of perpetual health. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits roaming around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Holy angels in heaven. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity of me, Father. The child returns to thee. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not be in vain. All my sins, not incense them. Never will I sin again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit.
be with you all. And with the Holy Spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help. Therefore, I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake, have burned salt and shame. 
covers my face I have become an outcast to my brothers A stranger to my mother's sons Because self for your house consume me And I insult for those who blessed me You fall upon me Salt has broken my heart, and I am weak. I look for sympathy, but there was none. For consulars, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and my tears they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name God and Saul, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See you, lowly ones, and be glad. For who will seek God, may your hearts Revive For the Lord hears the poor And his own who are bonds He spawns not A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. One of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and Tell him, the teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house, I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord, he said in reply. He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, 
said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Mayong buntag kaninyong tanan. Jesus knew beforehand what will happen to him. One of you will betray me. He said it in order to teach them, to teach them to examine themselves rightly. Otherwise, they will think of themselves as capable of being able to do things on their own. Thus, there is no need to rely on the grace of God. My dear friends, we must also examine ourselves in the light of God's truth and grace and ask Him to strengthen us in faith, hope, and love that we may not fail or forsake Him when we are tempted. Judah said, what will you give me if I hand him over to you? And they gave him thirty pieces of silver. Judas was willing to take money in exchange for of, of, of handing over his master to the authorities. In a way, we act in the same manner when we commit sin, we are, in a way, openly calling out the powers of the enemy, the powers of the evil one who offer, who offer worldly gain in return for the sin of betraying our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When we have been used to living our life, to committing sin, to disobeying the Lord by, by, doing, by doing what we want, which is most of the time what we want is, is contrary to the will of God. And, and we find it hard and tiring to turn back from the darkness of earthly passions to the serene calm of the divine light of the divine light that 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 that, uh, that our lord is is offering us therefore my dear friends let us ask god to help us that that a complete conversion may be brought in us that the complete conversion may happen in us or in our hearts. God, He never withholds His persevering grace and strength to those who cling to Him, to those who call upon His mercy. The Holy Spirit will give us grace and strength in our time of testing. If we submit ourselves to Jesus, we will walk in the light of His truth and love. But if we turn our backs on Him, we will surely stumble and fall in the ways of sin and darkness. Therefore, we must be on our guard lest the devil, the enemy, turn us from the love of God and the path which God has chosen for us. As to the, to the ultimate end or to the faith of Judas, we do not know. Perhaps or maybe as he struggled for breath in the last moment, of his miserable life, he was able to open his heart and ask for God's mercy 
and forgiveness. One thing is certain that Jesus, He opened His arms on the cross to embrace everyone without exception. Inasmuch as the gospel is announced, is, is prepared to the saints, it is also preached to the sinners. On the cross, we can see the greatness of Jesus' love because He did not only, He did not, He did not die only for, for Mary, His mother, but He died also. He died for Judas and for people like Him. And, and He died for us, for each and every one of us. My dear friends, the beauty of God's love is that it continues even after we have sinned. In fact, He is always ready to, to forgive us, provided that, 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 that we acknowledge our sinfulness and that we ask for His mercy and forgiveness. There must be a deliberate free choice, a, a free decision, a voluntary decision in, in us, in our part, that, that, that we want to return to the Lord and that we are sorry for our sins because the sacrament of reconciliation is only for the living only for the living. Once we die, there is no more conversion because we die only once, only once. And we will be facing the Lord as our just judge. My dear friends, all the warnings, the remedies, and the graces have been given to us the choice, the decision is up to us. The road to destruction is wide open, but the road to eternal life is difficult and narrow. Our Lord is asking us that we should not walk on our own strength, but we must always rely on His power. We must always rely on His grace. In the evening of the Passover, Jesus reclines a table with the twelve apostles. The Lord is distressed, not just at the prospect of His passion, but also at the failure of the apostles, especially Judas Iscariot and Simon Peter. Let us pray for the grace to be faithful. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May we shun the love and idolatry of money, which lead people to exploit the poor and the powerless and make them dis possible and dispensable we pray lord hear our prayer may we not enter into darkness and into the power of satan by our betrayal of the lord and our brothers and sisters we pray lord hear our prayer may we reject the ways of judas who betrayed jesus for 30 pieces of silver May we not turn traitor to our conscience, to our country, and to our oaths for political power and financial gains. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we prepare to eat our Passover meal at the Last Supper tomorrow through our love and devotion to the Holy Eucharist. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer that you may deem it worthy and beneficial to us, the Chofilo Kamumut, the Nerebal, 
be raised to the altar of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we celebrate the Paschal Tridom immersed in prayer and recollection and with minds and hearts renewed. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you are greater than our hearts. Your grace overcomes our weaknesses. May we celebrate the Paschal festivities, not only with bodily observance, but above all, with purity of mind. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Say the bread we just did say the hearts we love it save our lives Oh Father we are yours We are yours Yours as we stand as the table you set Yours as we the bread our hearts can forget. We are the sign of your life with us yet. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we lost it, save our hearts. We love it, save our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your passion, your Son's passion in the mystery we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through Him, the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, heaven and earth are filled with you, glory, the Son in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Who will provide us, O Lord, and refresh your resurrection, and tell you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. This day, our oh, daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For that is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with a firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing of Religious Articles God, by whose word all things are made holy, pour out your blessing on these religious articles and grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law and with a spirit of thanksgiving may experience by your power health in body and protection in soul as they invoke your most holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly of the Paschal mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come, that persevering in the sacraments of their rebirth, they may be led by Lenten works to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ, He said.